we're gonna have to see something else. That is, those are not the right names. It is Luigi versus Jigglypuff. All right. So we should be getting the right names going in just a moment. Spaklar, of course, I guess the foremost representative of SoCal in his character. And yeah, Aladdin, we, we surprisingly have a lot of Jigglypuffs here. Yeah, I mean, sort of the West Coast in general has a lot with the likes of Base Mage and I Speckler starting off real strong with an edge guard there, but what a response from Valadin. Are we going to see an immediate response from Speckler once again? Maybe a rest? I mean, these are two characters who can really explode and with each his particular set of tools can take stocks at early percents. I, I feel like Speckler out of, out of our SoCal pubs is the one that's really focused on his edge guards, getting these early stocks off the side, not necessarily going for rest setups. And especially with Luigi's recovery not being necessarily linear, but very slow. No, it's pretty linear too, I'd say. It does give you pretty ample opportunity to go in. The, uh, the only surprising thing about Luigi's recovery is when he randomly explodes. Right. Right, back here doesn't connect on the parry, but he is able to find a dash track to keep him off stage. Is the Lion have any sort of resource? No. Yeah, already used his jump at that point in Speklar. Spe Speklar is nice. He actually was shaking his head like, man, this character is dumb. Like, why am I fighting Luigi right now? Which could be SoCal bias. Ooh, the misfire. Whatever. I, the up smash out shield is going to connect Speckler down to his last stock, seeing it low percent, but attack. was that supposed to be a dash attack? Speckler just all over Valadin right now, just every option getting covered over and over. And Valadin can't even throw out a move, and that time just getting stuffed out, he's going to fall short on his recovery. Yeah, and that was really good from Speckler. Just stays in front of the lion's face. Says, even if you misfire me, I'm at zero. If you hit me, then you're going to just fall and not be able to recover. Mm -hmm. Already out of his jump. Really good play from Speckler. Yeah, just cutting himself short there. Really well done as we move to town and city for game two. By the... Okay. Oh, there we go. Like you said... Expecting another sword character from Valadin. Sorry. Bumped into my mic. Like Alright, so we're going to get into game two. Byleth coming out for Valadin. I feel like this is going to be one of the most common characters we see throughout mid tiers today. And I am here for it. I have to imagine that just so many characters. It's sort of a hot new thing. And yeah. In this particular matchup with Jigglypuff's special shield pop mechanic. Oh my god, and yeah. And the amount of shield break setups that Byleth has. Have to imagine that Valadin's gonna at least attempt one or two. Not just that, but you know, Byleth has a sword, has this um, incredible uh, distance he can fight Puff from, and that's kind of been Puff's weakness is having to avoid aerials that just outrange her. As well as everything of Byleth's is just so strong, it's going to just kill Puff incredibly early. Ooh. Oh no. Barely out of range on that. All right, the line's still looking kind of beat up right now. Speckler has so much of a percent lead, but that percent lead doesn't mean much when the weight difference of these characters are so great. Just maintaining his spacing right there. How does... Wow, the down tilt goes the wrong way for the line. That's incredibly unlucky. Just the pound to actually get right back to the ledge, dissuading any edge guard recoveries and... From Valadin. Nair, not going to kill quite yet, but it puts Valadin in a really bad spot. He has to air dodge. Yeah, that was just so predictable. Valadin uses that platform as it was exiting to regain his jump, but Speklar was already onto that and just adjusted his jump timing to maintain his control. Oh, wow, well, what a combo from Speklar. 46% and keeps the pressure up onto Valadin. Trying to get some of these down airs, but Speklar finding... All 
Alright, Valan looks for the side B, but now he's off stage. How'd that pound hit? It's such an extended hitbox, but finally gets the spike off that up special. I, and you know, that is going to be the name of the game. And can the line find these reversal edge guards? Because Spectra is definitely going to be going out there against him. That is Puff's forte. She needs to get some of these edge guards. She needs to get stocks early through whatever means she can because she's a very light character herself. Yeah. All right, down throw. Just waits for something from Spectra, but he's not able to react. Down throw into the voter is going to kill. Catches the jump. Very from Speckler as he gets up going again. I am the land just playing this one incredibly slow. Well, in this situation, there's really no need to rush because anytime you want to overcommit, like right there, Speckler is just waiting for an option. I, the lion looking for this, or uh, looking to catch this landing, excuse me, tongue tied, it's too early in the morning, but he's not able to find it. Speckler just staying outside his distance, but down throw into the photo is going to be a kill confirm apparently against Jigglypuff. Right, that one down. I mean, Jigglypuff, the second lightest character in the game, so that's yeah. to be expected, but 86% after the second hit. That is, that is one light balloon. Yeah, I mean, like we were saying earlier, the sweet spot of all of Violet's move killed so incredibly early. Especially with the relatively thin side blast zones on town yeah. and the extensions you can get off of the side platforms. Perhaps to be expected a little more, but that was still surprisingly early. Alright, so Smash World going to be the pick. Now, generally, I really like this stage as Violet. Um, I think it's incredibly hard for characters to deal with Violet's range on this stage. Mm -hmm. um, but... On the other hand, it is going to be good for Speckler to get these edge guards on, uh, where he can just go out there and kill pretty early on the sides. Three, two, one, go! Like, South Spot sorry, off. Watching the game three is Aladdin just going through the platform with the Nair, Speckler waiting, hovering right out of the range. Ooh. Oh my god, and you know what? I said game one, we don't often see the rest steps from Specklar, but there was one right there. It gets such an incredibly early stop. I mean, this event is called All In for a reason. Specklar with a full commitment right that there. That is a good point, my friend. What are these setups from Specklar? Even if he doesn't convert them into a rest, he's getting so much damage. He's just chasing him off stage around the up smash too. Valan just having to accept the fact that Speckler's styling on him right now. I just jumps over the down throw, gets the fair, the oh. dare to edge guard. It's not going to kill him. I like that Speckler kind of jumped away at first, says, I don't want to get caught on the way down. Yeah, I had not enough shield to shoot time to get that second pound protected from. Wow, jabs almost killed. That's not something you see from Battle very no. often. And the side B actually catching the two for in there. That's a decent amount of activity as he rolls around that pound attempt. Uh-oh. That might be it. That's definitely it. Aladdin will drop to Speckler 2-1 to one in favor of Speckler. Really solid, tough play.